Um, is she never hits me with her chancla. <laughs> chancla. <laughs> Latina mothers are always known for like taking off their chancla and like throwing it. They're beautiful, they have spunk, they're lovers, they're fighters, passionate, you name it. Las Latinas are a big part of my life. Karen, my girlfriend, is a Latina. She's from Argentina. But today I kind of wanted to express a little bit of what I think of it's it's like dating a Latina. Are you yeah, ready? I'm curious. All right, I've made a list, actually. Vamos a hacer este video en inglés. We're gonna do this video in English. Yeah. For all those people out there that are curious about dating a Latina, are dating a Latina. Or want to date. Or want to date a Latina, <laughs> exactly. Okay, we've been dating for about, I don't know, like, we've kind of been talking for like what six months like six something months. like that and something important to point out is that I am a hundred percent gringo from the United States I'm from Atlanta Georgia and here we go so starting out something that's very very uh, I have no clue of what you have on your list <laughs> they are passionate and affectionate Latinas come from a culture where there has been a lot of fights whether it's in you know like sports or whatever it may be but like you feel this presence you know Argentine specifically coming a lot from Italians and having a lot of history from Italy and Spain, a little bit of Europe. They're very passionate. You can see in how they communicate and they speak. Lovers, they're just very, very affectionate, touchy. <laughs> like, you know, we're always hugging, kissing. I love it. I love Aww. it. I think it's beautiful. They know how to celebrate. This is something that I also pointed out is Latinas know how to celebrate. It doesn't matter what it may be. Yeah, of course. You know, it's just like, yeah. you know, there's been a, a win and we got to celebrate. We got to do oh, something. Yeah. We got to like be excited about it. You yeah. know, sometimes in Argentina, it happens maybe in other countries but like you'll be on the plane and you'll land the plane will land and people are just clapping yeah celebrating we made know? it i love the idea of celebrating for anything you mentioned that we were more affectionate and that's the like a big difference between people from the united states and latin people is that when you meet with someone even for the first time you have yeah. we have and we kiss and we hug each other yeah. and maybe for people from the united states it's like it's not that common it's know? not it's not that common i think like as as the years go on, meaning as people get older in the United States, they start to become more like affectionate. But the classic average gringo tends to be not so like affectionate. You are. I am. I fully adopt that. Okay, their ability to adapt. To adapt. Um, I love that, you know, and I think this ha this is just associated with just history in general and, you know, when it comes to a situation that's hard, Latinas or Latinos, like they know how to adapt and figure out a solution to the problem and can kind of like push through uh, adversity and I love that. I think that maybe it's because you said that we've been through so many crises, we have no other option. Yeah. Okay, this is random, but Latinas are really good at like whipping up meals. Just oh. taking whatever <laughs> you've got around and just kind of whipping it up. Or in my experience with Karen, that's how it's been. She is just like, En otro episodio de es lo que hay. <laughs> She's just like, these are the things I've found and put together and we're gonna eat dinner like this and it's delicioso. Super rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to make the best with whatever I have in the fridge and apparently it's not that bad. So he's pretty surprised. <laughs> I think that for me, coming from my family, that's what we do, but you are kind of surprised that I can just prepare a meal out of, I don't know, maybe three or four ingredients. Yeah, I love it. They love, love to dance. Latinas can't help it. I mean, there are specific <laughs> songs that you can put on and then it's just like they are moving and grooving and dancing <laughs> and it's a big part of how they express themselves. Once you figure that out, then it's really pleasurable. They're gonna be like the first ones to kind of like get people up and start dancing. You know, I've, I've been in several situations where there were maybe a lot of gringos and like a small group of Latinos and then you just look and you see the Latinos are like, hey, hey, <laughs> dancing around and maybe they're the ones who kind of like get the party started so I love that yeah. I, I love to, to dance and uh, we actually might go dance later yeah like tonight I don't know if you notice but I usually like dance while I'm cooking yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Latinas are not afraid to just get out there and express yeah. themselves and dance to music and that's one of the most beautiful things I think it that, pretty natural to us yeah I love it Latinas she helps me with my Spanish right oh, yeah. I, I speak Spanish I hablo español como muchos saben but I learned kind of like talking to the people and like on the streets digamos and so so, you know, I, I need to know about accent, where to put the accent over the E or the O and which one here and there. Not, I don't always get it, but also grammar can be kind of like yeah. difficult in, in Spanish, very difficult. I would say actually, when you compare learning English and 
Spanish, English is harder when it comes to pronunciation and Spanish is harder when it comes to grammar. There's just so many more words and oh, the conjugations, conjugating like one verb into like so many different tenses. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Part. You can make that mistake all the time. Yeah, but she helps me with that. And we met, and actually, you help me I help with her with her English. Yeah. We make it a team. Yes, of course. Like pronunciation for me, uh, because your pronunciation in Spanish is perfect, but grammar for you, pronunciation for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, because I teach pronunciation specifically, mm -hmm. English and Spanish, it just, it's it goes really, really well. I can always kind of like turn around and be like, hey, am I saying this right? You know, what do you think about that? Dating a Latina, she has a cute accent in English. Really? <laughs> I think like like Karen, your accent is in English. It's just like cae bien. It sounds so good. It's just so simpatica, so nice and just pleasurable. And uh, <laughs> you can't help but like it. I don't think anyone would ever be like, ooh, I don't like how she speaks. Like it sounds so good. So, yeah. And it's not that it's a strong accent. It's just the one, the, the your delivery and your intonation, mm -hmm. just everything about it is amazing. She's hermosa. <laughs> Absolutamente hermosa. She's beautiful. You are beautiful. I am a big fan of like cultural mixes, mixes in general. I love one idea mixed with another idea, and then you have this new kind of combined best of both worlds idea. What's cool about, I think, like from Karen's case, is that two generations back, her grandparents were born in Europe, in Germany. Mm -hmm and they migrated to the rural areas of Argentina. And so her parents were born in Argentina and then she was born in Argentina. So she's effectively German, but Argentine. But you don't speak German, right? No. No, but you said but strudel yeah. really well. <laughs> How do you say that? I'm strudel. <laughs> I think with Latinas and Latinos in general, there's a, a little bit more open when it comes to jokes. You know, they can, they're a little bit more relaxed, not so politically correct. And that can be fun sometimes, you know, just cause like, it's a joke, it's, it's a joke and you know, roll with it and know when, it, yeah. when a joke is a joke Maybe and not. Jokes can be offensive yeah, and sometimes that's kind of like what it's about, right? Sometimes. And it depends on how you take it. Are you taking it as a joke or not? And I think Latinas can really, you know, take these things. We have a good sense of humor. Yes. Latinas, I think, are not afraid to kind of bend the rules. We talked about this in like another video, but like, I'm always just like, no, I, I don't think we should do that. Like, are you sure? And she's like, say, yeah, let's go. Like, no one's gonna say anything. And then if someone does say something, then she's like, come on. Bye. Bye. No pasa nada. No pasa nada. Come on, we're friends. Yeah. It's all good. And I'm like, over here, I'm like, I know, I know. Take me to jail. Take me to jail. I just apologize. <laughs> You're like really like smooth with it. And uh, I think I could learn a lot with that. I mean, not that we should break the rules all the time, but like, yeah, it's just funny. I'm not a criminal. She never hits me with her chancla. <laughs> chancla. <laughs> This is hilarious. Like in the States, I feel like with Latino culture in the States, you know, or Latina mothers are always known for like taking off their chakra and like throwing it at the son or daughter or whatever. Or being pissed like, hey, she doesn't really do that. Uh, I, I she's don't pretty even chill. hit you at all. You know? Yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> I think that's about it. What I really want to kind of like close this video out on, and this is something that her and I talk about all the time. And that is that what's really, really cool about dating a Latina for me specifically is that we can, share our relationship in two different worlds yeah. in oh. English and in Spanish and they are two completely different worlds yeah, it's totally are. two different perspectives not ways of looking language. at things it's not only about speaking Spanish or English it's about culture it's about values it's about way of doing things yeah you really have to learn yeah to communicate that as well if we want to go to some Latin some Spanish speaking country or whatever it may be we can do that we can enjoy it to the max yeah. you know and I can maybe even teach her a little bit more about that because I've maybe traveled more more in Latin America than she has actually. But uh, we get to see the world together in two different languages. And it's like having a relationship, an extra bonus, different like perspective world. It's it's incredible. And uh, so anyway, if you're dating a Latina or you are curious about dating a Latina or have a different perspective, leave down the comments below. I wanna, I'm curious to see what people think. Anyway, I hope this was educational and fun and <laughs> exciting for you guys. This is as exciting as it was for me. What'd you think? I love like your perspective of dating yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, guys, again, I'm Dustin Luke. This is Karen Pets. You can find us in the link in the description of this video. And this is kind of our first video that we've done in English, like on a live video on Facebook. I hope it gets to the people that it needs to get to. And then any suggestions, questions you may have, leave them in the comments below. And we'll, you know, we try to read our comments as much as we can. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. Nos vemos.